college. This transitional period in young people's lives is a step towards adulthood. But for many students, this lack of a restrictive structure gives too many students the freedom to overindulge. We are talking about alcohol and the growing trend of binge drinking on college campuses. I do have to say I went to a lot of parties during the time and noticed a lot of people that were kind of out of control that were freshmen. My name's Maggie Anderson and I am a sophomore at DePauw. I'm also the VP of Programming for the Panhellenic Executive Council. And uh, we actually have been talking about the alcohol consumption on campus within our uh, executive council and we do think that it's an increasing issue, especially for the freshmen. Early in the year, a lot of people uh, took over the college experience and experienced the hospital. Uh, a lot of people, some of my close friends actually ended up in the hospital. I've had to take care of a lot of my friends. I've, and it's, it's also weird to me that I have so many friends that I can kind of count have been to the hospital. Um, once or even twice. Well, I mean, it's obviously an issue because there's so many kids going to the hospital um, in the Greek system or, or not. Um, that's definitely a, an increasing problem uh, within the students in general, not just in a specific group. I'm Hunter Mitchell. I'm a freshman, and uh, uh, one night I was in my dorm room drinking with a bunch of my friends, and then I ended up uh, in the hospital. DePaul, like many other universities, has had its ups and downs with alcohol abuse. In the past two years alone, DePaul's freshmen have been hospitalized for binge drinking more than any year previous to their enrollment at DePaul. Uh, my name is Aaron Valancourt. I'm an emergency medical technician in the emergency department at Putnam County Hospital. I have seen an increase in the, uh, the number of incidences of students being uh, too intoxicated and going to the hospital and having more severe uh, issues. Drinking to excess is not just an issue at DePaul, but is of a nationwide concern. There have been many solutions drawn for the answer to this growing issue, but the problem is persistently occurring. We kind of create this culture of alcohol-based recruitment for fraternities and sororities that I think is a contributing factor to how our students drink. A lot of times you're away from home for the first time, you have a lack of, uh, of supervision, uh, and a lot of people just haven't had experience drinking, I suppose. Um, also, I think that there's a lot of pressure from their upperclassmen counterparts. The percentage of first year students who come to us with alcohol experience um, keeps getting a little bit bigger. So um, if students are already coming with drinking experience, um, trying to reverse that is, is really difficult. You know, there has become a bit of a, probably an alcohol narrative within um, residence halls and first year students. So students are, are on their own for the first time and um, they're gonna, they're going to try new things. Well, basically, I'm here as a resource for freshmen, and you know, nobody's really educating the freshmen on you know what the consequences are. So I don't necessarily think it's that we're getting you know a bunch of bad kids necessarily. I think it's just I think it's the pop culture in general where people just you know they're like, hey, I'm just going to get a warning basically, you know, whether they will or not. I'm part of a program on campus called Back Down, um, and it's a it's a group of students and one administrator whose um, goal it is to kind of change the, the abusive uh, drinking culture that uh, first years especially um, perceived the poet to be about. And a lot of this is about, um, you know, reshaping the some of the culture. But, you know, by and large, a good percentage of our students stay busy, keep busy. So the more we can kind of keep um, students engaged, um, you know, the, the better I think we can do in terms of keeping people out of those unhealthy routines. People could emphasize to those freshmen that aren't already sort of overstretching and committing themselves to think about dedicating a lot more time to something else. I think we're going to keep talking about this and kind of try to try some different things to see what works um, and what maybe has an impact.